Yeah, there we are. Uh, we will now navigate to Compliance Center, which is also called Purview Center. Uh, yeah, I don't know who comes up with all these names, but yeah, they'd be really doing a, a lot of naming. All right, so we are in the Purview. We'll go to Content Search. And for the purpose of this video, I will be exporting the emails of a, of a user in, uh, in the form of PSD. Another way to get that is through the Outlook client. So you go to the user's Outlook client and you export everything in a PSD form. If you don't want to do that and you have admin privilege and access to the admin portal, you can just do it from here, provided that they, there, is a, there is a license associated to it. Uh, but uh, you can that that is that's a different topic but what kind of license I'm just gonna show you how you do it over here so yeah we will start with the search uh, we will just call it uh, so I'm gonna just choose Adele's mailbox and we are gonna hit next so Adele is a user on my test tenant uh, so if I go to the admin center and if I expand open active users, uh, you would see there is a user called Adele Vance. They have a license uh, E5, which is from uh, the, the test tenant. It's not an actual tenant. And they have a mailbox. Uh, now, they don't have a lot of emails in their mailbox, only 3.6 megabytes because it's, it's not an actual environment it's just tend to test all right so we'll go back to the content search here and you can see uh, we have a couple of or uh, several options uh, for the purpose of this video again we are only interested in getting their email uh, emails so we will turn this on for exchange mailboxes uh, for users we will choose Dell so I'm just gonna search for it there we are so we'll hit select that one user is selected we have not excluded anything and again it is for exchange mailbox every rest of it you can export SharePoint sites you can export public folders a lot of things but for this we will only be getting the emails so we will hit next here and now you can define the conditions so if you don't really want entire mailbox if you just want emails that was received like you know on a specific date in between a specific date uh, and other sort of uh, conditions you can apply those here so we'll just click on this there and there is two ways there is the kql editor so this is like uh it's like retrieving logs it's like you can make uh, something up here you can you know use kql editor uh, kql editor and i don't know the exact thing but it's basically something you use to extract logs uh, and other things and if you really are interested you can just go to microsoft's documentation and just learn about it but we will not use that we will instead use a condition uh, which gives us you know options here uh, and you can see you can select by date you can select by author size subject uh, kind of message and received if it was received it was a sent uh, to whom you know all these things what we'll do is we will select the type and then we will select email messages so again we only need the emails from for this user so that is what I did. Again, I did not use the KQL editor. Instead, I used the query builder and I selected uh, type as the condition and we are using, we are only getting emails using that. All right, so we'll, we'll hit next here and we'll look at the name, description, uh, what items, uh, who's the person, you know just an overview hit submit and that should go ahead and start the search maybe not unable to execute the task reason the name of the contains invalid character okay 
all right so let's go back and let's just fix the name i guess uh, let's maybe we remove this would that help uh adele mailbox thanks thanks what do you mean let's hit submit so it's submitting and it worked so it was not taking the uh the dash or the space i guess but yeah as you can see the status says it's starting uh, which and i have uh, found that this search is usually it's pretty quick uh doesn't matter how much data the user has if it's like 50 gigs in their mailbox it still it completes the search in, in like five minutes or so uh from my previous experience i'm just refreshing here okay there we are so it's already completed it took us less than a minute uh, let's look at the results here now. So we will see that it has searched for eight items. So it has found eight items which are 670 kilobytes in size. And if we look at the sample, can we re review the sample? Yeah, maybe not. I, this this has never worked for me. So yeah, don't even bother trying, I guess. Uh, but yeah, now that we have the search results what we can do is we can now also export it to you know locally and that's what we will do now we will click on action and we will click on export results and it gives you three options here all items uh, excluding one which are not recognized uh, something which is encrypted you can have everything included and they are you know what form you will get the items exported in so you can have a psd file you can have a psd file containing all the messages we can have a psd file containing all messages in a single folder or you can get the individual messages uh, what i usually go for is one psd file containing all the messages and we will include everything here so output option would have everything included and export exchange content would be exported as uh, exchange content will be exported as a one PSD file containing all the messages and that's what we're gonna do and th this these are the search results uh, which was eight items as we saw earlier I'm gonna go ahead and hit export now and you do not have export permission so this is what I you know ran into the very first time and it clearly tells you that you need to have these membership to be able to do exports or imports in a purview center even though you have a global admin account so even though i have a global admin account so if i show you that here aj kumar uh, that's the email if i go to the account enroll that's a global admin but i still don't have enough privilege uh, which makes no sense but i i guess that's just how things are so we will go ahead and give ourselves enough uh it gives ourselves permission uh through here so you go to roles and scopes permission and we need the permission from purview and we'll click on roles and i basically just select everything here uh, but if you had that error message screenshotted you can pick exactly what you need uh, I did not, which was my mistake. Uh, so I am just going to take a guess here and we will just... Hmm. Don't want to create a role. I want to edit, choose a user. So let me just go back here. Sorry, guys. Uh, let's go back. So we are in, in here. We are trying to figure out what roles are needed and here's a list of every role in purview center that can that, that a user can have i believe we need uh or let's just check what what we need so we'll go back to the content search here and we will click on the search result we will go to action export results uh, we will select uh, one psd file everything included hit export and if i take a screenshot of this it says we need a compliance admin or e-doc manager or e-discovery manager sorry 
so we will give ourselves a compliance administrator and uh, e discovery manager or e discovery e discovery administrator role and see if it works so we'll go back to roles and scopes permission under a purview solution click on role and we have a list of every possible role we can get in purview we'll look at the the screenshot so we can have a compliance we need a compliance administrator or e discovery manager so i'm going to select this click on edit choose a user we will specify our ga select next uh aj select select next and that's the role we are assigning to ourselves what this role can do is it can handle case communication compliance search export item so this is what we needed right uh, we'll hit save and let's see how long it takes submitting and there we go so we are now an e-discovery manager let's go back to the content search and try exporting it again see if we have enough permission so click on action export results everything included one PST file click on export and we still don't have enough permission let's that's uh, now it could either be that it's just taking time propagating our permission or we might just need this one too so we'll give ourselves or make ourselves compliance administrator as well so we'll go back to roles permissions roles and compliance administrator add user add ourself hit next and save let's that is complete now we have both so we should be good now let's go back to content search our export and uh, let me just man these teams all right export result everything included one psd file click on export and we still don't have been enough permission uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video now uh, maybe it just needs some time propagating but I will resume when I have enough permission uh, but basically what's left to do is you just click on export click on this select this and hit export it just gives you like an installer that you run and install on your computer and that just downloads all the data locally on your PC and that's it. That's how you get everything exported.